Dan Kelcano here. I'm a pastor and I've been a Bible student for over 15 years. And in this video, we're going to explore the vision of Jesus in heaven that the author of the book of Revelation, John, was shown. At the beginning of chapter 4, we are told that John heard a voice from heaven. And John said, I saw a door standing open in heaven, and the same voice I had heard before spoke to me. Come up here and I will show you what must happen after this. And instantly I was in the spirit and I saw a throne in heaven and someone sitting on it. John is called up to heaven in the spirit, it says, which I believe means in a prophetic trance. And he was shown what was going to happen. And like Isaiah, John saw the heavenly throne room with God on his throne. And John said, then I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who was sitting on the throne. There was writing on the inside and the outside of the scroll, and it was sealed with seven seals. So John saw God holding a scroll sealed with seven seals. Seven is often a number of completion in the Bible, so it is perfectly sealed, this scroll. In the narrative, it's possible that each seal was placed there by each of the seven spirits. And in a previous video, we looked at who these seven spirits were, and I believe that they were the seven archangels we read about in Jewish tradition. John then says that no one was found worthy to open the scroll and read it. But one of the 24 elders said to me, stop weeping. Look, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the heir to David's throne, has won the victory. He is worthy to open the scroll and its seven seals. This dramatic scene in heaven continues, and we are told of the one who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll, none other than the crucified but risen Messiah, Jesus. If this scroll had been sealed by the seven archangels, well then it makes sense that the only one who is eligible to break the seals is the one who had been elevated above the angels, above them, that is Jesus. And Jesus here is called the Lion of the tribe of Judah and the root of David. He is indeed the Messiah, the chosen descendant of Abraham, Judah, and David. And he is the one who would be given the kingdom, just as the Hebrew scriptures foretold. Jesus is worthy because he has overcome. He has, quote, won the victory. From the perspective of the kingdom of this world, the Messiah King was supposed to conquer through military violence. However, this is not what John sees when he saw Jesus in the heavenly throne room. John said, Then I saw a lamb that looked as if it had been slaughtered, but it was now standing. So instead of seeing a lion, which would be a fitting symbolic representation of the conquering Messiah, he sees a slaughtered lamb. This is very significant because Jesus achieved this incredible position of now being right there in the middle of God's throne room, not through violent conquering, but by faithful humility on the cross. It was then God who raised Jesus from the dead, allowing him to overcome death and to receive all power and authority. Other than God, Jesus is above everyone. In my opinion, this is a flipping of the script. People of Israel assumed that the Messiah was going to come and violently conquer, but he came and conquered through humility and nonviolence. And this, I think, informs and should inform how we interpret the book of Revelation and the whole Bible. Remember, Book of Hebrews says that Jesus expresses the very character of God. Jesus is the only one who was entirely faithful to God. He was always humble, always nonviolent. And so he is the only one who is worthy to take this scroll. As it says, he stepped forward and took the scroll from the right hand of the one sitting on the throne, that is God. But what is the scroll? Well, we're going to look at this in another video, but it seems to me that the scroll is a pronouncement of divine judgment. And indeed, it is the slaughtered lamb who is worthy. It is only Jesus who is worthy to stand in God's place of authority and pronounce judgment on Israel and the world. What do you think about this flipping of the script? The fact that we are told that Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah, and yet he is depicted as a conquering slaughtered lamb. What do you think this means? How should this affect the way we understand Jesus and the book of Revelation and the whole Bible and our understanding of God himself? Let's have a great discussion in the comments below. Go ahead and leave a comment and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And please visit MessianicNagra.com 
for more Bible teaching, and there you can help support this ministry. Thanks for watching.